Hey guys, what's up? My name is Rahul and today we have a very interesting question. This question was asked by a member of my group. And if you want to ask your own questions, you can join my WhatsApp group or you can join my Telegram group and you can directly question me and I can answer your question through a video like this. So let's jump into the question. The question is, bro, one thing that I have noticed is that in my current college group, I am the one being made fun of. And some of this stuff is downright nasty. In my first year, I had pretty thin skin and I was easily agitated. But now I'm in my third year and I'm much more thick skinned. Still, I feel annoyed by some hurtful stuff that people say. And I avoid some people in my main circle. What should be my approach both internally and externally? So the first thing I want to tell you is that in this question, there are some very important answers. So through these answers, you are going to learn something very subtle about men and masculine nature today. In this video, you're also going to learn one of the most important lessons that almost every man should know. This is how men kind of deal with each other. This is how men know or understand each other. Okay. So thank you for your question. And here is my answer. So I have written this answer. I'm just going to read it out and I'm going to explain jahan bhi zarurat pade. So this is the answer. If you're being made fun of, then this may be the reason. When you're focusing a lot on yourself and personal development, then you're becoming uniquely different than everyone else around you. Self-improvement is differentiation. And it will set you apart from the people around you. So people will have a tough time understanding you because if you are really growing or working on yourself, then you are going to be a little bit different every week or every month. Your identity will not be very solid and it, you will not be very understandable or you will not be very predictable. So self-improvement, personal development, personal growth is differentiation. What does it mean? If you are improving yourself, then what will naturally happen is you will start becoming a little bit more like yourself. And the more you become like yourself, the less you are going to become like other people. So you are going to be different than other people. And the more you grow in your own personal development journey, you're going to become very, 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 very different than everybody else around you. And you will feel lonely. You will feel that nobody understands you. You will feel that you know, your social circle or other men or uh, your family or your relatives or your college or your colleagues, they're not really getting you. They're not really understanding you, right? This is a place where they will start making fun of you. This is a place where they, they will start judging you. And this is going to continue happening to a point where you have found a solid identity for yourself, where you have established your identity and when you are comfortable in your own identity. When you have reached to that place, then people are going to accept you. Then you will find a way to express yourself like the new you. But unless and until this entire journey is complete, this entire circle is complete, the entire circle of personal development, right? And I'm not saying it's going to take a long time, but it can take a while. Unless and until this entire identity shift has taken place, people will have a tough time understanding who you are or people are going to have a tough time predicting who you are as a person. And here is uh, the, the different part of the answer. I'm going to explain uh, all the different part of the answers as I go along. So other people will unconsciously get confused from you. They will not know that they are getting confused. They will not know that, you know, I'm doing it consciously. They are going to do these things unconsciously, which is very important to remember. They won't understand who you really are. In that case, they will poke you to see your reaction so that they can understand who you are and how you are going to react or how you're going to respond. Okay. One of the very important things is that other people understand you by the way you react to when something, you know, like bad is happening or when something, somebody is making fun of you or when you are put under pressure or when you are put under the spotlight, how you respond and how you react tells other person a lot about you. So in order to know you, your friends, your uh, social circle, your group is going to make fun of you. They are going to try to roast you. Okay. At some point of time, when you have finally found and embraced an identity for yourself, and when you have finally started 
acting more predictably right when you are grounded in your new identity when you are confident with your new self with your new self image with your new ego then other people will chill out and they will just let you be okay if you want to understand a little bit more about uh, this identity change that i'm talking about or the change of self that i'm talking about then i am going to link another video in which i have explained this in depth okay this video is going to be on the top like where you can click on the cards and you can watch that video i'm also going to attach that video in the description so you can go and check the description box and you can find that video it's going to be a longer video but you will understand uh, very well what i'm trying to say how your identity changes or how yourself or your ego goes through change okay so if you want to understand a little bit more about that then you can go ahead and do that because this video may i am not going to go very deep and i'm not going to explain that side of the equation because that's going to take a very long time they are not poking you or making fun of you from a place of jealousy or hatred they simply want to communicate with you and they are challenging you in a way that they can see how you respond another reason that men act like this is that men know and communicate and connect bond with each other through challenge and through competition if other men are making fun of you then what they are asking is for you to stand up for yourself and not tolerate it they want to see your aggressive side too men often roast each other and make fun of each other to see each other's boundaries to understand okay where the boundary of this guy lies okay how much can i push this guy how weak or strong this guy is so in order to know this they make fun of each other if you have weak boundaries then they will continue to keep making fun of you for as long as it takes for you to learn to stand up for yourself or for you to break down and leave the group because men don't want other weak men in the group men don't want other men who cannot stand up who cannot have strong boundaries in their own group my advice and my suggestion is this don't avoid these situations there's the first thing do not avoid these situations it's not a bad thing that other people are making fun of you they are just challenging you they are just poking you to see how you respond and they are not trying to hate you they are not trying to make you feel bad they are not trying to demoralize you they are not trying to put you down roast them back accept it as a playful challenge accept it as a playful competition right just like when kids are playing you know kids fight with each other all the time you will see brothers fight with each other all the time and through that fight they are bonding you will see like not just in human beings but also like for example if you see puppies right if you see like two three four puppies they will like fight with each other all the time they will play with each other the same thing will happen with cats the same thing will happen with almost all mammals this is a way like men in human beings like men and all other male species kind of connect and relate with each other okay so this is not something that you need to avoid you have to take it like a friendly fight you have to take it like a friendly competition or a friendly challenge and then you have to roast them back not to hurt them or not in a very very uh, you know not from a place of hatred but just from a place of you know playful roasting and like comedy that you are just you know a couple of boys having fun with each other you have to roast them from a place of humor and groundedness don't avoid other men so as i said men are like dogs and if you see in, and if they see that you are hurt and weak they will charge on you it's not natural automatic male response which will come up again and again in your life instead of avoiding their comments instead of running away show some respect and challenge them accept their challenge face them actively and engage in that competition actively once they feel that you are not going to back off and you're not a soft snowflake you're not a pussy then they'll stop making fun of you it might be possible that uh, in your male friend circle in your male friend group or other males they will always continue to make fun of you you just have to accept it as a playful competition or challenge and have fun with it this is one of the things this is one of the like uh, things men are always going to do to you other men are always going to make fun of you other men are always going going to push you to see your boundaries other men are always going to challenge you right and throw some uh, you know shit at you to see how you respond other women are also going to do the same thing you don't have to run away from it you have to accept it like uh, part of life you have to accept it like a part of being a man this is very important that as a man you understand this that the more you run away from these things 
and the more you are going to be kind of abandoned or pushed away from the group right you don't want to do that you want to maintain your position in the tribe you want to maintain that position in the group and you want to accept the challenge right and this is the way men bond men bond through competition men bond through challenges men bond through friendly fights for example uh, agar tumne fight club naam ki movie dekhi hogi or uh, if you uh, you know like observe you will see that often you know two guys who make fun of each other a lot they end up becoming best friends like they end up becoming very close often two guys who fight a lot right they often end up becoming very close to each other this is like kind of a thing that is always going to happen to you as a man and as a man it is it is very important that you learn how to deal with it you learn how to uh, play with it you learn how to not like get offended by it and just take it as a playful challenge just take it as a competition that you will have to kind of go through always so i hope that this video was helpful and if you want to learn more about how your identity changes if you want to learn more about how yourself goes through a change how yourself you know how a new you inside you how how a new identity inside you takes birth it reaches an adolescent phase then it reaches an mature then it reaches a maturity phase then it reaches old age then it dies then the cycle starts again and every cycle once completed takes you one level higher right it takes you one level higher so it's like you know the mythology of the phoenix that a phoenix like dies in flames and it rises from its own ashes so it's the same thing yourself or your identity right who you are as a person will continue to change and will continue to go through all these cycles all these phases and if you want to learn more about it uh, go ahead and watch that video i have i would have linked two videos in the description they are going to be extremely extremely helpful also keep in mind when you're watching those videos uh, use earphones because the audio quality might not be very good if you like this video and if this video was helpful to you then um uh, leave a like leave a comment leave a subscribe subscribe to the channel join my group follow me on instagram and i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye take care